Welcome to Monday. It's February 24th, and thanks for tuning in to the Day Weather Podcast. Well, the week starts off quite cold and blustery across the Intermountain West. A one-two punch of cold fronts will affect us through midweek with much colder conditions after what was a pretty decent weekend for many of you before things started to change on Sunday. Now we're headed back to winter weather again. What I'm going to be outlining here is the snowfall through Thursday across the Intermountain West. Most of Montana, Wyoming, western South Dakota, western Nebraska, and a large part of Colorado will see some snow. Heaviest snow is going to be falling over and near the mountain ranges, but you can see just enough snow will be falling on the plains combined with some very strong and cold northwest winds going to add to some wind chill and make roads and highways icy. This is not a pattern that's going to bring anybody a lot of snow on the plains. I'd call this nuisance snow, just enough to make roads and highways slick, just enough that you might have to shovel the sidewalk and the driveway, wipe off the car windshield, that type of snow. Temperatures are going to be a lot colder over the next two to three days, and there's going to be plenty of wind along and east of the Continental Divide in the wind-prone areas. We will see a bit of a change, though, as the pattern does get better by the end of the week. I want to show you a little bit how the jet stream will evolve. Right now, we have high pressure building along the northwest coast. This is causing an area of low pressure to come into the Rockies and high plains. We're looking at a forecast here for Tuesday that is showing the cold air getting pumped in behind the low that's swinging through the region. That's why it's going to be a cold and blustery start to the week. Here's a little bit of good news, though. This is the jet stream for Friday night into Saturday and Sunday. Notice we have a little mountain, a ridge of high pressure that's going to develop over the Intermountain West as we get into Friday and Saturday and into early Sunday. So the end of the week and probably most of the weekend, well, we're going to have another little break in the weather. Not unlike what just happened late this past week and into this weekend where we had a bit of a mild stretch, didn't have much wind and the weather looked good. However, off the Pacific Northwest coast, there's another trough poised to come in. And as we look ahead into next Tuesday, March 2nd, and into Monday, rather, Monday, March 2nd, into the 3rd of March, Tuesday, well, that same low digs down into the Four Corners area. So here we go. Early next week, Monday and Tuesday of next week, we could be looking at an area of low pressure over the Four Corners area and the Intermountain West. Just in time for the start of March, really right on schedule. As you get into March, as we well know around here, the weather gets more active. And then here's another system. Doesn't look like much up off the Aleutians, but this is going to be another low that's going to come in and swing behind it three days later. So March is going to start off busy. So bundle up, be ready for a cold, blustery start to this week with a little bit of snow. Good weather at the end of the week and for the weekend, then another storm early next week. Thanks for tuning in to the Day Weather Podcast. We'll talk to you on Tuesday. Have a good Monday.